Hello guys, this video is part of my brand new web scraping in Python using Scrapy and Splash course. So if you are interested in learning web scraping, make sure to enroll. I leave a coupon in the description box so you can buy it with $10 only. Along with other selectors like CSS, XPath has become the most powerful query language used by web scrapers to select nodes from an XML or HTML document. It stands for XML Path Language and use path-like syntax to traverse the DOM. An example, on your operating system when you want to navigate from folder A to folder B, you pass by some subfolders. Between two subfolders, there is a slash separating them. This path syntax used by your operating system, macOS or Linux, is pretty similar to the one used by XPath. Now, XPath has three versions, XPath 1.0, XPath 2.0, and XPath 3.1, which is the latest one, Unfortunately, Scrapy or web browsers supports only version 1, so make sure when you read articles or documentations that you are reading about the supported version. Now, to us, an HTML document is just lines and lines of code. But for XPath or any other selectors, the HTML document is seen like a tree that has different kinds of nodes. XPath in HTML or XML document can distinguish between 7 kinds of nodes, but in reality, I've always come across 4 of them. Element nodes, attribute nodes, comment nodes, and text nodes. An element node represents the HTML tag, like the paragraph tag, the header one tag, and the div tag. The attribute node represents an attribute within an element node, like the href attribute, the id attribute, and the class attribute. Next, we have the comment node. It's the comment that you write on your HTML web page. And finally, we have text nodes that represents the text content or the value within an element node. Now, let's take an example to illustrate everything. So, we have this HTML document with a comment node, an h1 node with ID set to title, and text node set to hello world. Then we have an h4 node with a class attribute set to sub-title, and text node set to web scraping. Now, this HTML document is seen by XPath as a tree, similar to the family tree, but this one is often called the DOM, or document object model, that contains the all kinds of nodes that are part of the HTML page. The only node that is not part of the HTML document is the root node. Now, because we are dealing with a tree, there will be relationships between nodes. And I want you to understand and memorize all of them because they are the key to write valid XPath expressions. So the first relationship is called parent. Example, the body node is the parent of the comment node, the h1 node, and the h4 node. Then we have the children relationship. For example, the comment node and the h1 node and the h4 node are all children of the body node. Then we have siblings. And siblings means all the nodes that has the same parent. Example, the head and the body are siblings because they share the same parent, which is the HTML node. Next, we have ancestors, which means a node's parent, grandparents, and grand-grandparents. For example, the ancestors of the H1 node are the body node, the HTML node, and the root node. Now, the last one is called descendants, which means nodes' children and children's children. It's like the inverse of the ancestors relationship. Example, the descendants of the body node are all its children, the comment node, the h1 node, the h4 node, including the h1 node and the h4 node children. So this was a quick introduction to XPath terminology. In the next lectures, we will dig into the XPath syntax.